Are you struggling to debug a multi-threaded Ruby script? It can be incredibly frustrating when other threads keep sending output to the console while you're trying to focus. If that sounds like you, stick around because today we're gonna solve this issue together. I totally get it. You're in the middle of debugging and those pesky threads just won't stop. You're not alone in this. Many developers face the same challenge when working with multi-threading in Ruby. Here's the specific question we're addressing today. One user asked, how do I make all other threads stop when I hit binding.pry in my Ruby script? They wanna pause everything else while they debug. Sound familiar? Let's dive into the solution. So what's happening here? When you use binding.pry, it only pauses the current thread, leaving others to run freely. This can lead to a chaotic console filled with output from those threads. But don't worry, there are ways to control this behavior. And make sure to stick around. I have a great tip at the end that will help you manage your threads more effectively in the future. To begin solving this issue, the user should create or edit the .pryarc file in their home directory. This file allows customization of the pry environment. Next, the user needs to add a specific configuration to the .pryarc file. This configuration will pause all other threads when binding to pry. After that, the user should implement a method to pause the other threads. This can be done by using a mutex to control access to the console output. Finally, the user should test the setup by running their Ruby script. When they reach the binding.pry line, other threads should stop sending output. Fun fact, did you know that Ruby was created in the mid-1990s? It was designed to make programming more enjoyable and productive. And here we are, still making it work for us. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. This user explains that you cannot suspend all threads in Ruby when using binding.pry. The binding and thread classes don't allow one thread to stop another. Instead, you can only suspend the current thread using methods like sleep or thread.stop. They clarify that binding.pry captures the execution context of the current thread only. If it could stop other threads, it could lead to unpredictable behavior, especially if those threads are in the middle of important operations. As a practical solution, the user suggests adjusting the logging level of the other threads to reduce their output while debugging. Now, let's shift our focus to a different response. One alternative approach is to remove the PrySTack Explorer gem from your gem file, as it may conflict with PryBuyBug. After that, repackaging your application could help. Additionally, restarting your server might resolve some issues. It's important to note that binding.pry only affects the current thread, not all threads in a multi-threaded application. If you need to stop all threads, you may have to control each one individually using thread.stop. Let's move forward and look at another answer. One alternative approach is to use a mutex to synchronize your threads before calling binding.pry. This requires modifying your code but it can help reduce uncertainty during debugging. Another option is to place breakpoints in each thread. This will stop execution in both the main and sub-threads at specific moments, but it can be cumbersome to manage these breakpoints. If you need more robust debugging for multi-threaded programs, consider using GDB, which offers better support for thread inspection. Here's that great tip I promised. Always keep your .pryrc file updated with commands that help you manage your debugging sessions. It can save you a lot of time and headaches. And there you have it. You should now be able to stop all other threads while debugging with binding.pry. Remember, managing your threads effectively is key to a smoother debugging experience. If you found this helpful, hit that subscribe button for more tips and don't miss our next video.